So you've been playing Escape from Tarkov for a while now, you're enjoying the game, you're winning some gunfights, you're getting some loot, and you're getting the hang of it. But there's a few things you're still not sure about. I'm going to be going over 8 things that Escape from Tarkov doesn't tell you. My name is Ruben, I stream Escape from Tarkov Sunday through Wednesday in the evenings. I would love it if you jumped by and said hello, and let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I'd like to go over in Escape from Tarkov is how to take the items in your stash and put them on your PMC in a quick and easy way. So there is one way you can do it where you can just drag and drop, which takes a little bit of time, totally acceptable, but it's not quick enough, especially when you're looting and you don't want to get killed just looting a, a, a player because that really sucks. So a quick way to do that is hold alt and just click away. By clicking, you can equip all the items onto you one at a time, each click, and it makes it for a quick and easy, simple thing to do. Now, when you want to equip things in your bag, pockets, or your rig, you have to hold the control key. So my mags, my health, and my grenades in my pocket. Very simple thing to do. If you want to throw it back in your stash, same thing, hold control and click away goes right off your body and into the stash next thing i want to go over is insurance differences and what insurance is basically when you insure an item you have a chance to get that item back if no one steals it from you if someone steals it from you you're not going to get it back but let's say your buddy you get killed and your buddy drops your stuff for you and puts it in a bush and hides it you're probably going to get that stuff back if a player scab doesn't get to it or someone doesn't stumble upon it now with insurance there's two different options you have prepper and you have therapist prepper is going to be on the cheaper side but it takes a lot longer for it to come back um 19 to 28 hours is about in real time uh that's a day you're going to wait a day for your item to come back that is if you get it back Therapist, you're going to pay a premium price, but you get it in half the amount of time. You get it in 8 to 16 hours. Personally, I use Prapper uh, because if I know I get killed, most likely won't see my stuff, especially if it's like a slick. But if it's like a very cheap build, I know I'm going to get that back, so I'm probably going to still use him. And I don't have to pay a premium price for it, so I'm saving a little bit of money. The next thing I want to go over is durability and repairing your items, and that's really going to be more for armor. Uh, weapons do have durability, but it doesn't go down by much unless you don't die at all and you just keep using the same gun, which is very unlikely in Escape from Tarkov. So that's something they're probably going to update in more patches. But for now, we're just going to go over the armor. Now, armor durability. We're going to keep it very simple. You have armor points, uh, for example, this 77 out of 48, I've been shot uh, with this on, I lost 30 dur durability, and only way to gain 30 back, or just about 30 back, would be to repair it. Now, three different options, prepper, skier, and mechanic. Again, there's more detail into all of these and why one might be better than the other, but just like insurance, you're gonna pay a premium price for more durability so that you take less durability out total. So for example, Prapper is gonna take out one to 2.9 points out of the maximum durability. So that means it's not gonna last as long as if I did mechanic for 0.6 to 1.7 points. Again, that's percentages and how often you use the same armor in the game is dependent on how often you die so if you die a lot like i personally i use prepper it's the cheaper option it repairs it it's good boom done i'm happy with it i lose two three durability it is what it is i know this is going to last me a little bit and i might just lose it but that is repairing very simple um not getting too technical another thing in escape from tarkov that i find extremely important is hop keen your items now when you're in a gunfight yes you can of course open your menu and just look at your pmc right click to use heal and then hop out and then carry on but that's not the smartest choice hotkeying is going to be the smartest choice for you so you can hotkey anything that's in your pockets or in your rig so for example what i like to do personally is i like to do my hemostat my health and then if i want i can do a grenade um anything that's in your pockets here that's one slot or two slots. I mean, you could do meds too, so that'll be seven. You hotkey it so that you could just click it instead of opening it. Very good option. 
use your hotkeys you can mix and match whatever you prefer if you want to reach around do eight and nine or ten or whatever that's going to be very useful in the fight in raids so being that bsg wants full immersion in the game they don't have a hud in their game um they completely take it out your ammo on your right is not there they don't show your health they don't show your items in your pockets but there's a way to change that and that's in the settings so we're going to go to our settings now go to the game settings and the quick slots the stamina stance health condition and health color scheme is what you want to be displayed so that while you're playing you have some information about your own pmc personally i use and i turn all of these on oh not always hidden always shown always shown always shown and i keep that at color save and resume so now you get to see what's in my rig uh, i have my weapon my bayonet i have my hemostat so everything i hotkeyed before the raid is shown up there you can see my health in the top left so it'll just display all my health for my arms legs thorax head stomach all that fun stuff and then on the bottom left you're going to see my pmc character as far as noise level and stamina and that's going to lead into our next thing escape from tarkov doesn't really tell you about is your stamina your stamina bars are there's going to be two you have your overall stamina and then you have your arm stamina and we're going to go over the arm stamina so if you look here at the bottom left you have a blue bar and that's going to be your arm stamina now depending on your position and basically how, uh, how tall if you're standing you're kneeling or if you're in the prone position it that will deplete at a different rate so if i'm standing and i'm adsing it's going to deplete fast if i'm crouched it's going to be a little bit slower and if i'm prone it's virtually not moving at all thus i can have a longer arm stamina and hold my weapon and aim down sights for a longer time now once that depletes to all the way to zero you're going to see this egregious swing and sway of the weapon which you don't want especially in the middle of a gunfight so it's it's very important to keep an eye on this especially when you're holding a corner or holding a hallway ads when you need to and just prone as much as you can if you're holding a long hallway again you have to play your angles right and just think about the situation you're in now the green bar is your overall stamina and that's for your running your jumping all that fun stuff you do not want to get this down to zero because your character is going to be breathing heavy which a lot of people can hear also if you need to get away from gunfire or just get away from a fight you should keep this up at 50 to to, to 100 percent if it's below 50 there's a chance of you getting shot and that just depletes your stamina bar even lower and then it makes it hard for you to get away or even if you're going to a gunfight it's good to keep it at 50 percent so this way if you do get shot your stamina is not going to be depleted to zero this way you can get you know behind cover quickly instead of just walking um depleting your overall stamina will make your arm stamina deplete faster as well so they're they're independent in a sense but they're also also together um so just be mindful of that so moving on to your height your sound and the speed of your own character on the bottom left hand screen you're going to see two different bars you're going to see a y axis and an x axis on this x axis the bar that goes right across the blue bar is your speed of your character so if i just use my scroll wheel to scroll all the way down and walk my character makes little to no noise and i'm walking a little bit slower this is like the creeping in escape from tarkov so if you need to creep up to someone or creep in a hallway you don't want to make too much noise you do this you can adjust your speed while you're walking so it's very useful instead of hitting the caps lock key to instantly walk you can semi adjust that speed as you're walking so going along with the speed of your character on the y-axis you're gonna have the height of your character right now i'm fully standing up if i hold my crouch key or I hit my crouch key i'm all the way crouched but what if i want to finesse a shot in between a little hole or look down something that's at a certain height that i don't have to all the way crouch down um i'm gonna hold that crouch key and i'm gonna scroll my wheel so i'm adjusting my height so i can finesse those shots finesse how high i can uh be and that's a small detail personally i don't use it too much but it's definitely it comes in handy when i want to peek through a little corner or peek through a little hole in the wall now the most important thing i think out of this whole entire video that i'm making is checking your ammo every fps shooter that you've ever played always has your gun and ammo on the bottom right hand corner escape from tarkov 
threw that out and says, nope, you have to be mindful of your choices and how many rounds you want to put down. So to check your ammo, you're going to hit control T. You get to see the ammo you have and how much is in that mag. If I shoot, can't really count your shots in a gunfight, but if I check again, it's about half a mag. Now, you can obviously check your mags when you go into your PMC character. Um, I have a full one. I don't know how much is left in here. You can check by doing clicking the middle mouse button. It's about half, and this one already tells me it has half because I did check it before. This one's obviously empty, and it will always tell you if it's empty. So those are eight things that I think are very going to be very useful for new players that Escape from Tarkov doesn't tell you. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and comment down below. Maybe some more things that you think that people should know in this game that they don't really tell you. You guys know I already stream Escape from Tarkov Sunday through Wednesday in the evenings. Drop by, say hello, tell me how you like this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.